what is good everyone welcome back to the channel guys in today's video i just wanted to have a little bit of a discussion let's talk about nintendo that's what this channel is anyways it's all nintendo based even though i love ninja turtles as well but ignore the background guys what is nintendo doing we know we know nintendo's got some stuff cooking up those sleeves put my sleeve back down Put this back down too. We know a new console is coming out, or at least we think we know. I feel like every channel right now is talking about this. You see articles over there, Instagram, TikTok. The whole world is just like, where is this next console? Now there's some rumors or some reports. Whatever. At this point, I don't know what to believe. There is something going on with LCD screens, and they're supposed to be 8 inches. <laughs> So, I don't know what that means. I We have LCD switches. Those were the first ones that came out. And then we got the OLED. So, some people are saying, why on earth would they make... Like, if this is for a new Switch or a Switch Pro, or let's just say the Switch 2, like the next Switch console, why on earth would they be just doing, like, yeah, a little bit of a bigger screen, 8 inches, but it's an LCD screen. And then some people are saying, well, there's newer LCDs out there that can maybe look as nice as the OLED models, or maybe even better. So it's one of those things where it's like, okay, well, we don't really know what this is like this is even for. What if it's for something completely different? What if they're like, hey, this uh eight-inch screen we're working on is gonna be the Switch U, and they freaking add on this adapter, and we're all like, we didn't want that. <laughs> <laughs> where's the switch too but then also let's give the switch some credit do we really need a new console i think it's just we we're so used to like a switch or we're so used to a console lasting a certain amount of time that things become outdated we see other consoles with better graphics which has honestly always been the case nintendo has never really been the best when it came to graphics but it's the games, the Marios, the Zeldas, the Donkey Kongs. Like, we play Nintendo for the games. So, graphics, of course, we're not, like, you know, if you want to play those super high-end graphic games, either play them on the Switch that's docked, because we know handheld mode isn't always going to cut it. Some of those games look super blurry. <laughs> I forgot what game I played on there. I think it was the only game I had, like, a really bad experience on on the go on the switch like portable mode and i think it was <laughs> i think it was when mortal kombat 11 came out and i just remember being like what is happening like it looked i love nintendo to death but it looked bad it looked really bad and i didn't want to play in dock mode i probably should have but i didn't and i just kind of suffered through it i was like man this this is just bad but the game was fun anyways a little bit off topic. Actually, I don't even know if there is a topic. We're just kind of rambling today. A little bit of a topic. Kind of opening up the discussion. Do we need a new console? I think the Switch is kind of starting to become a little bit outdated in terms of graphics. And I think as a consumer, that's that's the difference here. As a consumer, we just want. We want more. Give us more. It's kind of like, let's say, your favorite show comes out on Netflix, right? Let's say it's the first season. Let's say season two. There, whatever this show is, it doesn't matter. We're already done with season two. We just knocked it out. We binged it in one day. It took them a year to make that season. And guess what we want as a consumer? We want season three! <laughs> They're probably already working on it if it was a great show. But it's just like, we just want, want, want. We're selfish at the end of the day. Consumers, selfish. It is what it is. But I think, I don't know. I'm just a guy making videos. <laughs> I don't know anyone at Nintendo. I would like to. Nintendo, hit me up. Let's be friends. Um, I feel like it's time for something. Now, could Nintendo get away with just another version? Like, instead of making this a whole new console to go against, like, the PS5 and the Xbox, like... I think they could just do, like, a Pro model because that's what they've done with other handhelds. But I kind of look as look at the OLED as the pro model, you know? So I don't know. 
I'm sure they've probably thought about it. What I really do hope, though, I hope it's backwards compatible. If it's not, I'm probably still going to get it <laughs> just because I'm... I want to I wanna pick it up day one. I usually don't pick up any consoles day one. I didn't even pick up the Switch day one. I waited. I waited, I don't know how long. I probably waited a few months at least. And then I went and picked it up at Toys R Us. Rest in peace. They went out of business. <laughs> Although I think they're coming back with like a few stores or something. I miss Toys R Us. <laughs> now this video is about Toys R Us. No, it's not. Good times though. But yeah, guys. Part of me wonders, do we need a new console? Could we get by with a Pro? I think if they came out with a Pro model and it wasn't like the next generation, it wasn't the Switch 2, it was just Switch Pro. It's an 8-inch screen, it's an LCD screen, but it actually looks better than the OLED we're used to. And maybe there's a bigger hard drive, maybe it runs a little faster. I don't think I need to upgrade my Switch again. You know, I had the original... I really wasn't planning on getting any of the OLED models, but then they came out with the Zelda Edition one. And then I got it for a pretty good deal locally, actually. Picked it up on Facebook Market. And I was like, all right, you know what? I'll pick it up. Now, I was really hoping we'd get a cool, like, Mario Edition one. And then Nintendo released a Mario Edition one, and it, it had, like, a coin on the back of the dock, and it was red. I'm like, who designed this? I could have I done a better job. In kindergarten, I could have done a better job. Like, I don't know. I remember just that getting me a little uh, upset there. <laughs> but you guys let me know. Y'all let me know down below because I love hearing from y'all. And that's why I make these videos. You guys seem to like the last one. We talked about GameCube games coming to the Switch online. I haven't really heard any updates since then. I feel like that's a good move, though. I could see Nintendo definitely doing that. I feel like that's going to happen at some point, no matter what. But it's going to be on Nintendo's terms. Obviously, we have NES games, Game Boy games on there. We have Sega games, N64 games. We don't have all of the libraries, but we have some, which is better than nothing. And then now, it's just like, okay, I think GameCube is next, which would make sense. And then after that, you know, we'd probably get some Wii games. It's like, Nintendo knows what they're doing when it comes to the Switch Online they kind of just let things roll out a little bit at a time, which builds up excitement. Even if they're like, hey, here's one new Super Nintendo game and one Game Boy game and one Sega game. You know, if you pay for the service, it's pretty cheap. You get to play all those games. You know, I understand the rollout when it comes to that. But dang, I don't know. GameCube games for that would be pretty cool. Switch 2 feel like you guys have seen a thousand videos on this by now. Not for me. I maybe made one or two. I just feel like I only make videos when it's time to talk. And today, had a little bit of coffee. A little iced coffee, if you will. So it is time to talk. But yeah, guys. Switch to, I think, I think this year, something will get announced. Do I think we're going to actually get the console this year? Mm, a lot of people think yes. I've heard people saying, okay. This upcoming March or April, we're going to get an announcement or maybe the console gets released. I don't see it happening. I don't see it just being ready to go. That would be cool, but I don't see that happening. I can see them maybe doing like a teaser announcement, having people excited about it all year long. And then like October or November, November <laughs> October or November is when it comes out kind of right before like the Christmas time just to make people camp out in the rain and the snow to get those Nintendo Switches and buy them off resellers. Y'all know what's going to happen. But uh, yeah, I think those are my opinions on that. What do, what do we think is going to be like some of the games that come out on the Switch too? People are saying Metroid, the new one, Metroid Prime 4. They've been talking about that game for how long? Freaking... I think it's been three, no, I think it's been four or maybe five years since they announced that game. Now, I'm not really critiquing that. It's kind of fun to critique it a little bit, but I would much rather them take all the time in the world to perfect these games. That way, whenever they actually come out, the consumers, us, we don't have problems. We've seen what happens when games get rushed out. What was that game? Cyberpunk? Cyberpunk something? I forget the name of it. 
that game I feel like probably got rushed out because I just remember hearing it had so many problems, so many bugs. Now, a lot of the times they, you know, they do these updates and these patches, but I feel like that's almost just not fair. Like you're paying for a finished product, right? Like imagine going and buying a movie. <laughs> Let's pretend this is five, 10 years ago where people were probably actually buying movies. Now everyone's just streaming. I know some people still buy movies, collectors, I get it. But imagine you buy that movie, right? You go home, pop it into the Blu-ray DVD player, and it's just not finished. Uh-oh, there's some weird parts happening. Let's release a download patch. That's weird. And, the like, it should be a finished product, you know? It's not something where it's, like, an online game where they're adding things all the time. Like, Grand Theft Auto Online. Even something like Minecraft, right? Like, you have online servers. I could see something like that having, like, different patches and rollouts. But, like, a game that is just supposed to have a story? Make that complete. You know what I mean? Like, just have it finished. Ah, oh, I'm rambling today. It's the caffeine. <laughs> but yeah, guys, y'all let me know what you think. What do you think we're going to get in terms of new games when that Switch comes out? I think they're going to... I feel like they're going to have to do something with Mario. They already did Zelda, Breath of the Wild, and then we got Tears of the Kingdom. They could do more Zelda games. That's never going to get boring. They could do, like, a new Donkey Kong game. But you got to think, like, something that's going to get people going crazy. Mario pretty much always works. I feel, I feel like that's like the cash cow, the safe bet. So they could come out with like a new 3D Mario, maybe like a Mario Odyssey 2. I don't know. Metroid Prime 4, I feel like would be a cool game to announce with like the launch of a console. But I just, unless, unless it's one of those like groundbreaking games, kind of like when Zelda Breath of the Wild came out. I remember hearing people who were like diehard PlayStation an Xbox fan, like, you gotta know, these console wars have been going on for a long time. And a lot of the times, people that are like, I only like Xbox, or I only like PlayStation, there's a lot of, like, beef going on, where it's just like, uh, Nintendo this, Nintendo that. But, us Nintendo fans also, yeah, uh, Xbox, PlayStation, even though I love PlayStation. I don't have anything against Xbox either. So when Breath of the Wild came out, People that were like diehard PlayStation and Xbox fans, I remember going out of their way, picking up Nintendo Switches just to play that game. So I felt like when that happened, Nintendo gained like a broader audience. It was such a like mass loved game and it worked out. So if Metroid Prime 4 is like that, then maybe, but I don't know. <laughs> we don't know guys, but drop some comments. Let me know what y'all think. Happy Sunday. We are just rambling. We're chilling. I'm about to edit some more videos, maybe do a little eBay, maybe watch some shows. Let me know what y'all are doing today on a Sunday. It's a lazy Sunday. I appreciate all of y'all. If you guys want to see more videos like this where we just do discussions, let me know. You guys seem to like the last one a lot, so I kind of want to drop these more often. Y'all know we do a lot of unboxings and Nintendo hunting videos and things like that on this channel, and those are great. Those are fun. But I kind of like these a little bit more every now and then. Just, I don't know. I feel like we just get to communicate and I get to hear your opinions. And you guys get to tell me that you hate my opinions or maybe you love them. I don't know. But anyways, that's enough rambling for today. I appreciate all of y'all, especially anyone who stuck around this long. Because this video went on a little bit longer than it probably should have. But hey, here we are. Appreciate all of y'all. Until next time. Peace.